Hey guys and welcome to this money making guide for Hunter Corrupted Dungeons. You're going to be making roughly 500,000 silver per hour doing this and it's completely risk free. So first things first, let's show you the build that I'm going to be wearing here. I'm going for a mage cowl, mage robe, guardian boots, a normal bow and I'll be taking beef stew, resist pots and just a, just a rubbish cape there, any cape will do. What you want to do is you want to take the best bag you can because the beauty of this is you can just chain through the dungeons. You can just go to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. As long as you can carry the gear that you're getting in the dungeons, you can carry on. You can use builds that will clear faster than this. I'm a sucker for the bow. I use the bow in like all situations. You could use quick builds such as the bolt casters build is really quick and the great axe build is another build that will clear dungeons really fast. I've gone with a really cheap build here just so beginners that do join us here understand you don't have to have a lot of silver to get into this and as well you can win the PvP fights in the dungeons which is just a bit of fun and it's good experience for new players to get into PvP and this is a great way to do it. So once you have your gear, you're gonna to wanna to go to a main city and find yourself a blue zone. You're gonna be doing your corrupted dungeons in blue zones, they're completely safe, you can't die, completely risk free. Once you've picked a zone you're gonna be doing your dungeons in, go and find yourself a corrupted dungeon, select hunter on difficulty and head in. You can now select this shrine to start looking for other dungeons to invade. You don't have to do this, but I would recommend doing it if you're new to the game or wanna get some PvP experience. At this point you're going to want to open the map and figure out where the bosses are. Every boss has a chest with it so the more bosses you kill the more chests you get and the higher chance you're going to get some good stuff out of the chests. So the main idea here is to clear as many bosses as you can as quickly as you can and when you invade someone as you can see we are here you're going to want to try and clear that as quickly as possible. Find them, kill them, get out or alternatively you can destroy the shards destroying three shards will send you back to your own dungeon if you were the one that was being invaded destroying three shards would take them out of your dungeon it actually may be quicker to do that instead of fighting but i think it's really good to get the pvp experience here and just get the practice in also as you can see here not everyone has tons of pvp experience in the hunter corrupted dungeons i should have lost this fight at 100 percent of the time but i haven't to win once you do win, you're going to grab all of their loot as quickly as you can and it will send you back to your own dungeon or if you're in your own dungeon, you can continue where you left off. As you can see, when you open the chest, it's completely RNG, it's completely random. A purple chest could be incredible and that exact same chest could end up being terrible. When you do get to the main boss in the corrupted dungeon, if you are new to this, completely new to this, all you need to know the last bosses you just want to keep moving around so their abilities don't hit you that's the main thing in here and once you've looted the chest click on the portal and click next dungeon unless you're done then click surface i'm going to leave you now with a 90 second montage of how the chests went for me and also how the pvp went for me if you're not interested in that jump to four and a half minutes into the video and we'll look at how everything panned out Okay, and here we are after a 40 minute session. I have 217,000 silver in items and 78,000 in silver bags. So that's 295,000 silver and let's assume that I picked up around 15,000 silver on the floor. 
that makes 310,000 silver. Now that's 40 minutes, so divide that by two, that's 20 minutes, 155,000 silver, times that by three, making the hour 465,000 silver. This is quite a slow build. This is a bow build. I love the bow, so that's why I stuck with it. If you did want to do this faster, you can use a bolt caster build or a great axe build, and I think you could make up to 700,000 per hour. Also, it'd be interesting to see how you guys experiment with this in terms of do you make more money if you destroy the shards or if you do the PvP? Let me know what you think, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it, and I'll see you next time.